Hi folks, so today we're going to do a stretching routine for the lower body, again seated in the chair. So the idea with the staying seated is that anyone can do it. Also ideally or possibly you can do it, you know, while you're sitting around like waiting for food to cook, watching some TV, uh, not ideal, but if it's the only stretching you're going to do, can't hurt. Uh, provided you don't go too far. Again, mild to moderate stretch is what we're looking for. I'm going to scoot to the front edge of the seat. Left leg stays bent, right leg is straight. I'm going to flex. Uh, yeah, I'm going to point my foot first and try and get the back of my knee. So I'm fully straightening this leg, really trying to push the back of my knee towards the floor. I'm going to sit up nice and tall and I'm going to lean forward. If you've got a big hinge back here, you might need to shift forward a little bit more. You want to be just where the sit bones on the edge of the seat um, it will depend like my the edge of my seat is quite sharp so i really feel it um, it can catch the hamstring and pull on it so or more so it can catch the the tendon so my hands are resting on this leg to help my body and i'm trying to lower myself in slowly keeping my back nice and straight thinking about lengthening down through the leg and again i'm going for about five breaths you could go for ten if not, I'm going to flex my foot down, so that's five breaths with the foot pointed, and then five flexed. You could go for five, you could go for ten. If you prefer, you can hold for 30 seconds or a minute. So the whole thing should take about, can take anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes. Trying to give it time, try to feel it release out a little bit. If you do that, that's good. And if you want to go a little further, of course you can. But even to start with, we're just trying to feel a little release. And I mean, even if you don't, like if it's very tight, you might not feel a release. But you're just trying to get to the point where you can feel the stretch and ideally try it, you know, three times a week or maybe four or five days in a row. Ideally, you would do a little bit of stretching every day. Um, and then again, ideally, I would do a little bit of stretching every day. Um, ideally, not. Uh, and you may go for a little bit by doing some serious stretching on several days, but ideally, it would be every day. Having said that, I do move around and get mobility in, so there's that option as well. I flex my foot now. If you felt you were able, you could try and get right down onto your thigh, trying to keep your sit bones on the seat, really sticking your backside out. Again, you're looking for a mild to moderate stretch, so wherever that might be for you, it might be all the way back up here. Okay, once you've done your five and five, so five pointed, five flexed, I'm going to bring the leg back in. From here, then, I'm going to turn, we're going to do the hip flexor. So turning, so just this cheek is on the seat, this leg is towards the floor. I'm flexing my toes under, you can do it like this, but I find this gives you a feeling of better balance. So I'm trying to get a straight line from my shoulder through to my hip first, and then you can try to slide your hips forward. Trying to keep them squared until you feel a stretcher at the front of the thigh. So there's no pressure in the knee unless you're very tight in, in your quads, in which case you might feel a little pull, but you're not putting any pressure down into the knee, which is a nice way to do this. Good. If you like, you can try and straighten the leg out and again lean forward. And you're going to get a little, trying to get a little stretch into the calf. This one's a little more awkward. So again, you could be more on on the seat. If you want to be here, just push the leg back here. 
I'm going to get a nice straight line from my shoulder to my hip to my knee to my ankle. Maybe trying to straighten up the leg. And if the leg is a little bent, then you're going to get the, the muscles here that don't cross the knee. We've already worked the hamstring and calf a little bit, so let's not do that. Let me come back up. I'm going to switch over. I'm going to come right back this time. So I'm going to drop my knee. I have plenty of space to slide forward. Again, keeping my hips facing forward. So I don't want to open out when I look this way. So again, I'm going to use the fly breath. Again, to lean forward, trying to straighten that back leg. If you need a little bit of extra, if you can get the leg straight and you're really not feeling it, you can push backwards then off this straight leg. Trying to get your heel towards the floor. Just be careful of the pressure on your knee when pushing back this way. Good. And then when you've done that, you're going to come up and go to the side. I'm going to stick this leg out to the side here. Sit up tall. I'm going to come grab the bottom of the chair for balance and just lean over this way. And I should get a bit of a stretch here into the side or the inside of my back. Good, let me come back up. And then when I get in, switch over to the other side. And again, holding with the underneath of the chair. If you can, you can hold on to your thigh. Just see it has a bit of security. So it's going to fly off. You can also obviously put weight down into this leg. But I'm trying to create a little space here and a little stretch up along the side while I'm at it. Crossing one leg over the other, I'm going to take my opposite hand and hold on to the knee, but I'm going to turn this way, so towards whatever side I cross. So if I cross my left leg, I'm going to turn to my left. Again, hand on the chair, or you can grab the back of the chair and try to rotate, but I'm pulling with this hand the other way. So try to get that rotation, a little stretch to the outside of my thigh this time, and into the glute. And then back to the front. Again, one cross, cross the other way. And switch. So I'm doing it slightly different. This time I'm pushing with my forearm, hand on the chair, whatever works for you. Again, the whole idea is to make it easy for you to do something that fits into your day and then you feel the benefit. Having said that, you may need to do, you know, sometimes when you start stretching, it can take a few goes before your body figures out what you're trying to do because it's so used to being tight. So give it a little bit of time. But again, if it's something simple that you can do while you're sitting there waiting for food to cook or, you know, or while you're watching TV, then it just means that you can, uh, you know, you can do it a few times over the course of a few days and see how you get on rather than feel like you're taking time out of your day to do it. Then of course you can focus more on it as you start to feel benefit. So I'm going to bring my heel up, uh, sorry, my ankle up to my knee. 
and I'm gonna sit up tall. For some people, this is it. I'm gonna feel that stretch in here, in the glute. You might feel it on the inside. Some people will if they're very tight. But if you feel you're able, you're gonna sit up tall and just start to lean forward ever so slightly. And again, you feel that stretch. Nice and tall, nice and straight, and your sit bone is on the on the seat. Feel it. And coming out of it. Even same on the opposite side. Sit up tall first. And then return to the floor. I'm going to get you to turn one leg in, like so. And then back out, and then turn the other leg in. So you're trying to turn the knee in towards the floor, lift the heel, keep your big toe on the floor. And then back up. And then back up two, three. So just getting a little mobility as well into the hip. And again, we're going to go for five on each side. You can do a few more if you feel like you're able. And then you're going to try to head out. So try to keep that little toe on the floor. And little toe on the floor. So I'm just trying to open out the hip. Lean back a little bit with this one. Just create a little space here. You can lean back, hands in the chair, or you can even sit back. This one might look a little bit weird. If you're doing it at home while you're watching TV. Might want to warn people. Good. Come back up. <clears throat> nice and tall. And um, I'm going to turn back this way. Again, I'm trying to hold on to the back of the chair for balance. I'm going to lift up and grab my foot. And then I'm going to try and let my knee drop so it's in line with my shoulder, my hip. Yeah, my shoulder hip and knee. And then I'm going to hold the back of the leg and try to bring my heel in towards my glute. Now, just holding here might be enough. Like trying to get the knee back in line might be enough work for you. But if you can get it in line, then you're trying to bring it in. <coughs> you're just breathing in through the nose and out through the neck. Again, mild to moderate stretch. forward and then return the foot to the floor switch over to your other side and pull the back of the chair so you feel balanced bring the foot over this way you've got a slightly wider stance as well and again bringing the knee in line and then trying to bring your heel towards the hip Five, bring the knee forward, take the pressure off the stretch. Try not to just let the foot go and spring out. And then finally, I'm going to do this one to the side so you can see it a little bit clearer. I'm going to try and tuck my feet under and just gently press, like just above my big toe here, is where I want the weight to kind of go. Sitting back, 
and I'm just trying to press and just open up the front of my calf or the front of my ankle, sorry. on the left to tap your foot or feet. And this is a good one because you're working that muscle at the front and unless you're doing a lot of toe pointing when you're dancing or somewhere else, <clears throat> you're not really stretching out this muscle. Again, and if you run as well, you know, shin splints and things like that. So you just want to try and loosen this out and give it a little bit of length. That's us for today. That should be a general, again, lower body uh, leg stretch um, just to help loosen things out. See how you get on. Let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, we'll uh, have a few more videos up for you over the next few days. Stay safe.